Hey, that's really great. It's a good, it's a good perspective, man. It's a good perspective to see that because many people talk about learning English, but they they feel like English is going to come magically. And I'm sorry to say that, but no, we need to sacrifice time. We need to practice a lot, and that's the only way English is going to be like adequate for our use in the in the real life. There is no there is no uh, language learning without sacrifice. So that's a good focus. Uh, how do you feel, Marcel? What's what's uh, your real level in English? How do you feel? in English. Do you think you are advanced, intermediate, or very basic? How do you feel? Okay, uh, excuse me, teacher. First, first of all, I, I want to know uh, uh, who are my partners. Yes. Yes, well, our partners right now are Marcela and you. We were we were supposed to have, uh, let me show you the screen. Okay. We will have, um, we were supposed to be uh, you, Diana, Emalis, and Marcela. But right now, uh, we only have Marcela here and you. All right. Okay, and... Uh, this is the this is the preparation for the C T exam. Do you have ideas about that test? Well, I I didn't listen well the name of the test. Sorry, teacher, I didn't listen very well the name of the test. Okay, the the name of the test is C E P T O. All right, SEPTO, right, SEPTO preparation. No, I I haven't I haven't presented, but I. But it's the reason I am here because I am interested in improving every day. Uh, this is a very good opportunity to to advance and to learn more about grammar structure and other things, you know. Yeah, well, this, this test uh, is offered by the university so we can, like, comply with the rule that say we have to certify our English level to be able to graduate. Uh, yeah. What what year are you at? Sorry. What, what is your profession? Well, what career are you studying in the university? Well, in my case, I am studying bachelor in English as a second language. Uh, I am studying courses of ninth level. And you're about to well. Huh? Yeah, I'm about to finish. I. I I, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to present the scepter maybe next August or September. Sounds very good. You have plenty of time to practice and if I can help you, believe me, I will do it. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, you have your microphone off. Can you please turn it on? Uh, the logo is right here. Turn off my microphone? No, I mean Marcela, not not you, Alex. Your, your microphone okay. is okay. But I mean, Marcela appears with the microphone disabled. So, so please turn it on so we can keep a conversation because I'm, I don't really like to have a class where I'm the only one speaking. <laughs> yeah, now you appear with a microphone on. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, what I was telling you is that uh, uh, this test is offered by the university so we can certify our English level. Uh, okay, one thing. If I am speaking very fast or if you don't understand, don't be afraid to ask to repeat or to say mm, slowly. I hope not to repeat. Okay, so don't be afraid to ask questions or to ask for a repetition. I will do it with pleasure, okay? Do you understand, guys? Sorry, sometimes the sound is up and sometimes the sound is getting down. Well, yeah, my connection is, is pretty good right now. I think it's just a matter of connections, but we are trying to do our best. Okay, can you hear me okay there? Yeah, I can hear. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you uh, the, first, the first part of this presentation. 
in my experience uh, with these uh, evaluations, the biggest enemy is ourselves. Sometimes we think we are good at it and we do not prepare. And sometimes we think we are not so good at English. So we are so afraid that it's stress our skills in the <clears throat> Have you had an experience like that where you feel afraid and you get blocked? Uh, sorry, David. Um, the sound continue being sometimes up and sometimes <laughs> down. Okay, let me sound. see. I, when you speak a little slower, maybe it's better because okay. no, I I cannot feel the sound is up and down when you speak a little slower. All right, I will speak slower so you can listen properly. Okay. 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 I was telling you that one of the problems is ourselves. That means know yourself, nosotros mismos. We are the biggest enemies during a test like this. Sometimes. Yeah. But too confident, that means we think we are too good and we do not prepare. And some other times, we are That's what the face face and he's terrible with what he's doing. Sometimes we have the audio files in uh, our tests and we do not understand so we get in panic and the panic doesn't let us answer properly what are your your uh, uh, you know like your fears about tests do you have any fears or you are confident in, in my case i feel confident because uh on one occasion i I took uh, up this test and, and I I felt really comfortable uh, with that test and now he, this this going to be the, the second time to present a, an international test or a septo preparation septo test. You know, I, I don't feel uh, fears, I don't feel afraid because yeah. uh, it's not, I, I don't consider that. Okay, that's a very good, that's a very good uh, factor in your favor because stress or fear can block our minds to answer properly. Marcela, do you have, do you have any fears about the test? Yes, yes, I, I, I never uh, made uh, an exam in, in that, in that time. That is. I am fierce about my my level that that I am a a person shy. Then that affect me, but I want to improve and I am learning more. Great, that's the attitude. Don't worry. With this preparation, you are going to have uh, the necessary elements to take care of the test and get a good result. Okay, so there's no need to be afraid. But there is a huge need, a big need to prepare. Believe me, I, in my case, I have always been confident. I have always been uh, like easy going with my English. I think I have a good English. So the mistake that I made in the past was to think that I could take care of these tests with eyes closed, <laughs> like what Pisces say, you know, I can take care of that with one hand in the back. I was too confident, but when I got to the test and I didn't prepare, I started seeing that it is necessary to prepare 
for the characteristics of the test itself. Because sometimes when we do not know the style of the questions, we can get confused. So I know that if I had prepared, I would have get better scores. But given that I didn't prepare because I was too confident, my result was not as good as I was as as I was. So we do not we can't uh, be too scared or too confident. We have to be conservative and prepare ourselves for the test. So let me explain what the septo is about on this first uh, part of the lesson. Uh, a short audio files in the game where you have uh, questions of multiple choice. There's only three options. Uh, sorry for the graphic, it's four options there, but in the CEPT test, you only have three options for a short audio recording. You can uh, listen to a very, very short uh, piece of information, and then you will have three options to answer. <coughs> yes. What I recommend you is to be able to uh, check the question before, before you listen to the audio file. Normally, the set offers you a very short time to check the questions. So remember, try to read the questions before you listen to the audio file. That will help you a little bit to focus on what is necessary during the, during the audio. So the first part is this, is kind of easy, but it can be tricky. Because information is so short, that sometimes we do not get the message. The second part is extended listening. You will hear, uh, you will listen to a very long, sometimes longer than you want, uh, record. You have uh, questions of multiple things, and then uh, you will see that the questions are shorter. This is a very friendly characteristic of SEPTO, because I have taken other tests where the questions are not in order, and, and that gets messy. Messy means in disorder, yeah? So when you can identify the questions in order, you have to be really attentive to the information you are receiving. In this case, the SEPTO is kind of friendly, it's easier because the questions of the longer uh, are Hello. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, I can hear you. Okay. So the first thing that I was saying is do not underestimate the text. Even if you are good at English. Because in my experience, that's what I that's what I do. I underestimated the test and my result was not as good as it could have been. The second part is practice as much as you can, not only with these sessions, but on the internet, and you will see there is plenty of material to work. You don't, you don't conform with one session a week or maybe a little class during the month. Now, if you have this semester, one month, a semester, try to practice as much as you can, so you can have the best results For the career of uh, language teaching, or English as a second language, you know, uh, can I say that? It's because I don't like to translate that that career into English, it sounds weird, but it's like bachelor's degree in English uh, as a second language, or a second language. In this case, the, the university is changing to, with emphasis in English, but uh, the important thing here is that we are prepared to be C1 on the set. If you are studying 
the, the bachelor's degree in English, we, uh, we need the C1 level certified. So we have to be really proficient, really careful when we take this test. Uh, the first time, if I'm not wrong, the university offers you the CEPTO for free. But if you want to take it a second time to improve your results, I think you will have to take it. In my, in my experience, well, in my case, I had to pay for it because, uh, because I had to make a homologation of my subjects. And it was around 250,000 pesos for the test. Take the papers to the university. Because remember, the university only accepts the certificates of the English level when they are no older than two years. That happened to me in the past with the Cambridge Advanced English Test. I took it in 2014, but I presented it to the university. It was a bad moment because I had to pay for another test to be uh, recent, to be new. So remember, if you take the septal, make sure that you hand in the results as soon as possible to the university. So they can give you the grace and they can uh, homologate all the subjects that you have. Uh, after that, uh, if we have the last one, use diverse material. I mean, wide variety of topics. Why? Because the set sometimes talks about sports, uh, sometimes talks about science, about geography, about English, and about celebrities. So the vocabulary is key. The vocabulary that you have is going to help you to understand these materials better. So do not stick to only one type of material. Like for example, always about sports. No. Try to mix sports, science, geography, like the, the gossiping, maybe the news. It's key to understand these things. Test yourself with different aspects. In the case of students, I teach uh, private classes, and uh, my students understand my English without any problem. But, but when they face movies, TV shows, maybe other people in English, they don't get as easy as they understand. And I always tell them that this because as a teacher, I modify the rhythm, I modify the speed, and I modify the speed. Especially native speakers. They do not have in mind that you don't have a huge vocabulary background, they only speak, and you are uh, and you are the one who needs to understand. So test yourself with different accents and contexts. In the septo test, you will find a British accent, American accent, and Australian accent. If I'm not wrong, maybe those are the three predominant accents during the test. Soon, it a lot of time if you start translating into your native language. I to keep that. Uh, Soon, I recommend all the students to use the ability to speak Spanish and the knowledge they have in Spanish to understand the structure. One is.
Oh. Los anak-anak si Norin, ti. That's right. So if we, if we start translating everything, we are not going to have plenty of time to answer the, the true questions. Then, in the last part, aim for ideas instead of words. I mean, we are is not when we don't understand one word. If we don't understand one word, one word it's going to pay attention. Because that way you can get the main idea of the test or the listening part. And many students commit the mistake of uh, getting nervous because they don't they didn't understand one word and they start thinking about that word again and again and they miss the rest of the message. So be careful with that. If you didn't understand one word, keep on going. For example, in this moment, I am pretty sure that you do not understand every single word that I'm using, but you are getting the whole idea. That's the most important part, that you get the main idea. If you get the main idea, you will be okay. 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 Okay, I have videos on YouTube, so if you look and do the same, I'm pretty sure you are going to find much, uh, much more interesting material and many other options. I will show you these links on the... On the so you can see what's happening in that. that audio. So now I will do this first so we can answer them uh, together. But after the chat ends, I will share this link so you can practice uh, properly. Check the first one. This is focused on the short audio file. this case, you are going to have uh, well, let me tell you, Septo is a computer-based text, so you sit it in front of a computer, okay? This looks deeper, uh, it is a computer image. Alex, Stella. Yeah, uh, I'm hearing you, but sometimes it's interrupting the sound. Okay, yeah, so, well, I hear one of us had a lot of noise in the background, like if it's a kitchen. So, uh, maybe if, if you are the one with the noise in the background of the kitchen, you can turn off your microphone for a little bit. And then, when you are going to speak, you can turn it on. Okay. Okay. We are going to start with this uh, example. It says, "What did the boy forget to bring home from school?" We have a drawing of a pen, of a pen, then a paper, and then a bag. Yeah. Let's try. Hello? Yes, can you hear the audio file that is playing? Now I am, I am hearing. Yes, you, okay, you hear me, but do you hear the video playing? No, the video playing, I'm, I'm not hearing that. I will share with you the links of this video so you can listen to it. One second. Yes. The first one is going to be a short listening file. Is now on your on your chat. It's there. Okay. okay. And when
when you when you click on there, you will have this video that is showing on my screen. Okay, so yeah, just take take a little moment to to listen to it. It's a, it's a very short uh, audio file, and it's going to give us uh, the the answers in the end. Just take a look at the at the pictures. Take a look. Take a look at the question. It says, "What did the boy forget to bring home from school?" Do you understand the question? Of course. Yes. Okay. So now click on play and listen to the information that they are giving you. Did you get to listen to the information? Oh no, I couldn't. Maybe I'm. I don't know what's happening with my with my connection, and it was not possible to listen the audio through YouTube. I'm sorry. YouTube is not letting you listen to it. No, I, I couldn't. I couldn't listen to the, the audio by Skype. I, and I tried to listen the audio uh, linking, the linking them. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, good. Just play the video on your computer and see what happens. Were you able to listen to it on your computer? Sorry, in my case, I don't know, maybe my laptop is saying my... I don't know why, I don't know what happened with my laptop. It's asking for Chrome, Google Chrome, and I don't know why. Okay, is it is it a MacBook? Sorry? Is your computer Windows or MacBook? It's Windows, but I know what I don't know what happened right now. Is asking update. Uh, let me see. Because I thought you were going to be able to listen to it on the on the screen that I'm sharing. Let me see if I have other options to make you uh, listen to it here.
Yeah, no, everything seems right here. Let me let me see if maybe we get another link. And we've got to meet Paul outside the cinema. There it is. <laughs> What's that you, Marcela? Could you hear the listening file? Yes, yes, I, I can watch. I could, li I, could, I could listen something. Yeah. Put my video. Repeat the video uh, if you can hear that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait a moment, please. You can start this. Is C. Okay. Yeah, teacher? Yeah, well, the, it's working for you, but of course, when it comes through the to the Skype, it doesn't sound properly. Uh, Alex, right? It, isn't, it didn't sound very well. Like, yeah, no, it, it, no, it didn't sound well, but uh, I, I, I just understood uh, a boy or got something at the school, but it's not clear the sound to understand well. Yeah, well, that video, I'm pretty sure that Marcela could understand because, of course, it's playing on her computer. Uh, but uh, let's, let's, let's see if you can solve the question of your, of your Chrome. While you do that, I will ask Marcela, what do you think the answer is for, for the first question? And this is it's far back. The first yeah. question the answer is the boy forgot the far back in the school. Very good. That's the answer. They talk about a pen and they talk about math homework during the listening file. But those are distractors. They are distractors because the true the true uh, information that we need to solve this question is the ones they say about the bag. So that's one of the things that I want you to focus when you take the SEPTO test. Try to eliminate distractors. That means pay attention to the images and see that some of them are there to make you uh, get distracted. I mean, to make you to test your abilities to identify the true information that is needed. Not the same test, but we want to know if we can understand the specific for. So, of course, if a person doesn't know much English, they are going to say, yes, they talk about a pen, the English speaker information Normally, the separate test will offer you the same output twice. So if you can get it on the first, you are going to listen to it on the second. How are you doing now? Is it, is it working now for you?
you still trying okay there are other uh, other links that I have for you on listening and of course uh, other links with the full tests with full tests so you can uh, so you can practice not only the listening but the reading and the writing and that will be a good result who are not taking uh, the bachelor's degree uh, they only have to take the septo in listening and reading in the degree we need to take the septo that covers the four abilities writing reading listening and speaking part septo is not done uh, with a teacher but there is no available, you will have to stop the computer. I actually feel that's a little bit uh, hard, but I'm going to see how many information for you. Just know that the listening part needs preparation specifically on the long listening part. <coughs> for the long listening, my best recommendation is that you take notes because sometimes are very long they are four minutes three and a half minutes and sometimes we don't remember what they said on the beginning of the audio we only remember like very few moments of the whole listening file so taking notes is very very necessary Okay, so make sure that when you take you have a, a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. If you don't have them, ask the teachers to give you some because you will need it. That's for sure. If you take notes, you will be able to remember information because sometimes because of nervousism, we forget what they said in the beginning. And sometimes that's the information we need for answering the questions. So this is, sup this is extremely important, taking notes during the long listening task. The sector also offers you uh, a, a time frame of 45 seconds before the questions uh, of listening, the long listening. Long listening normally has like six or seven or eight questions about the same listening file. Yes, so they will play a file that is three minutes and a half long and you will see seven questions or eight questions about it. That's why you need to focus on taking notes just do it as fast as you can, like when you are in the university or when you are in a conference, you take notes quickly, like, uh, I don't know, you put clues, like, you start, for example, it's a teacher and he's talking about geography, and then you say, you write on the note, like, he talks about China, okay, he talks about... Uh, the, the history, of course. Sorry, so, teacher. You take very short notes, but with notes that you remember easier what he was talking about in each part of the listening file. Taking Sorry. is very essential. I didn't do it in the first time I present uh, this test, and I and I realized the listening was listening result was not the best because I saw that I forgot. The fragment information. So remember, taking notes is very. Yeah, teacher. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Can I say something? Yes, of course. Um. Mm, I consider, of course, it's very important. It's pretty important to take notes, or of course, because sometimes 
one forgets something. Mm, but of course, that depends on the time the listening part offers to the to the examiner. Or oh, that depends on the time. Uh, sometimes the time is key. Uh, I don't know the uh, the time that accept offers to the student the, uh, after the audio. You know. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you. The SEPTO only offers you 45 seconds before it plays the, the audio file. So that's ah, the 45 seconds, okay. Because that you will see the information that is important during the audio file is playing. So you should have to read the questions. When they say you will have 45 seconds to read the questions before we play the audio file. So make sure that you read all those questions. I will show you an example of, uh, of one of those long recordings with the eight questions on display. But make sure to use that time to read the questions. I understand what you are saying about the time, but in this case, you have to practice taking notes while you listen, because you will have to take the notes while you listen. That means at the same time that you are listening, you have to take the notes. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that is kind of hard, but if you practice, you will be able to do it. For example, in this moment I'm speaking, if we didn't have all this information on the screen, uh, you will be taking notes. So you could remember what the class was about, like what we did in school. The teacher was speaking and we were taking notes. That's what you have to do on the listening files that are left. Take the time to read the questions so you know the information that has that has some importance for your for your answers. But at the same time you take notes so you can remember properly. Okay, so use the time they give you before the place to read the questions. Read all of them, and if you can read the options available, also do it. Because that will help you to focus during the listening file uh, to, to identify the, the answers. Then, the audio will play twice. During the first uh, listening moment, you are going to take notes, and they will give you a little time before they play the second time, you will mark the questions that you already know. Try to do it as fast as you can. So when it sounds the second time, you will take care of the questions that are still missing. And that way, listening file. Yeah. Have to question. So uh, again. Uh, I repeat because this is super. Read the questions before the audio plays. They will give you 45 seconds to do that. Try to read fast, read questions and options. And when you listen to the first time, uh, mark the answers that you are sure are right. So you can have time to answer the more difficult questions. Other I will make sure to share all these links with you on the on the Skype, so you can practice yourselves. Uh, I know this uh, session; uh, it's the only one you have this week, and maybe we don't see each other next week. But if we can, mm, be sure that I will help you with with pleasure. And you as a I am a full time teacher and everything, but I will I will take the time to help you if you need to solve any doubts and confusion. Okay, I I will show you. Okay. Links so you can. We 
all the political uh, we had used today. Given that he's having a with, with his computer, don't worry, here are things, and you will have the time to practice. Okay. So let's take the board apart and do one by one each of these tests. The, the description of the links say where the listening file starts because some of these links have the complete technical test. They have the reading, they have the listening. So you just make sure that you go to the listening part. Does that sound good? Okay, that sounds good. Great. Just make sure that, that you practice with this and look for more sources of uh, mat material to practice. Uh, they recommend sometimes the Cambridge uh, pages, the British Council pages, but I think you have to focus on material that is ex specifically for the CEPT. Yes, for the septu. Try to work with material that comes from exams uh, that are similar. Yes, do not practice with uh, with other type of tests for now, because what you need is to get used to the style of tests. When you practice with movies, music, and and other materials, you are polishing your listening skills, but they are different. So you practice material. That way you are going to warranty that you know the terrain you are getting on. Sometimes the students have very good listening skills, but when they have these um, long listening files, and they don't take notes, they don't know the style of the questions, they will miss many of the questions because they, they are not good. So make sure you practice with material that is designed for the test. There are plenty of resources on the internet. You find them and share with your with your class with the people you know is taking the set tool very soon that's the only way we can make our community better <coughs> do you have any questions about the about the session of today sorry do you have any questions about this oh well, in my case it, it was clear uh, well, uh, in my opinion, the more you practice, the more you improve, you know. Correct. For me, our information uh, is clear, teacher. Uh, thank you. I I will uh, study and, and preparing with the, with the links. Thank okay. you. Remember, if you have any questions in the future, don't be afraid to contact me on, on Skype. Just say hello and tell me, okay, look, uh, teacher, I, I was doing this uh, practice and I didn't understand this or that. Don't worry. You, I will find the time to, to give you a hand, okay? So, okay. I will whenever whenever I can. So don't be afraid to ask. As I have uh, just another session right after this one, I will give you these, uh, these minutes so you can take a look at the videos and practice, but I will stay connected. I will, I will finish the class right now, but if you need to make any other questions, don't be afraid to make them. I will be online all the morning. Oh, David, thank you very much for this opportunity to practice our English and uh, I hope we continue practicing with you next week and I'm going to try to take advantage of the links you, you share with us and let me congratulate you 
Marcela, because today is a special day for you. You are a, a woman, so let me congratulate you. Yes, yes. Congratulations, Marcela. Happy Women's Day. Thank you. You are right. Guys. All right, guys. Look, uh, the next week, uh, I'm going to have the same the same uh, hours for the sector preparation. So if you... To, to do... So the, the next the next time I'm going to be here is next Sunday at the same hour. If you want to join, you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. I will be here. Good, good, my good. Uh, So my classes are open for you, even if you are not described on the file. I don't have a problem with, uh, if you come to my classes without suspense. Uh, what we want is to have classmates that are well prepared for the test, and that's what matters. It doesn't matter if you have uh, more people in the class. We can help each other. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Have a nice day. Enjoy. Bye. Okay. Bye. Have a separate. Have a separate day. Yeah.